Guys, I can't believe the beginning of this episode today. They fixed some stuff. They fixed some stuff and clarified a lot of things. I can't believe they had that scene with Ichiba and Yuha. If my memory's correct, like, that's not in the manga. That's new content, right? It's been a really long time, but I don't remember that. And that f and this scene fixes some plot holes we have later. I, I can't even really get into it that much because of spoilers, but this is big. My confidence in the Thousand Year Blood War now has shot so much higher. If they're doing stuff like this, could they really fix a lot of the stuff that's going to happen later? Because I'll tell you, as we keep progressing in the arc, there will be some shenanigans that happen. But potentially, they might not now. This is big. Holy shit. Okay, let's just get into this episode and stop talking about it and talk about Bleach Thousand Year Blood War episode 11 today for part two because this shit is crazy. Our episode begins today with a very important conversation between Ichiba and Yuha, as we hear. As balancer of the three worlds comprised of the Soul Society, the World of the Living, and Waco Mundo, I came to propose a non-aggression pact between the Soul Society and the Lit Reich. As each of us says, let us Soul Reapers worry about the prosperity of the world, and you enjoy the prosperity of your empire. It also goes without saying that we will not interfere with the unification of the Quincy's by the Licht Reich. It's a win-win pact for everyone. But Yuha tells him flat out, no, it's a deception. As he says, you take me lightly as if I'm some ignorant baby. As Ichiba says, that was never my intention, but you indeed know nothing. As Yuha says, then let me ask you this. The world was once one. Who set boundaries to that eternal peace by separating life and death? As Ichiba says, the soul king. Yuha asks, who brought fear of death to the people? And again he's told, the soul king. As Yuha says, I know the anguished, anguished cries of the souls that have returned to me. I know the vindictiveness of the people who fear death and cling to their fleeting lives. And that's the answer you have to offer, Ichiba Hosobi. As he tells Yuha, don't say my name so lightly. As Yuha says, where in these three worlds can one truly find peace? And it's here our conversation comes to a head. As Ichiba, with the power of this hand, shows Yuha visions. Very specific visions. As Yuha says, so that's the Soul King? As Ichiba says, see, you know nothing. We, together with the Soul King, maintain this fragile world. But Yuha knows better, as he says, how repulsive. As he grabs the hand and says, I told you I see it all, Ichiba Hosobi. Do you think you can kill me with that hand? My father's hand is nothing more than a sacrifice to his child. It can give life, but it cannot take it away. As Ichiba says, those eyes of yours sure are troublesome. But they can never see through the soul king. As we see, with this hand, he takes away box eyes. As Ichiba says, did you think I'd let you have the Soul King's arm for free? And as he leaves, he tells Yuha, your eyes will be closed forever. Never to open until the day you die. And as we transition to Yuha alone, he says, I'm glad I lost these eyes. I no longer have to see through your humiliation anymore. Soul King, my father, you have become nothing but a mindless and hideous lump of flesh to be worshipped. I'll give you a new purpose. 
become a grave to the three worlds and vanish. And as we transition back to present time, it's time to attack the Soul Palace. As we see, they're not just going to let him in willingly. But we'll come back to all that in a second. Because it's here as we transition back to Mayuri's lab. We get the appearance of a character we haven't seen in a long time. As we hear. How dare you try to head into the royal palace without waiting for me. The great Ganju Shiba. The self-proclaimed expert on the royal palace. As Ichigo's just like, Ganju, the f hell are you doing here? As he tells Ichigo, I'm here to go beat those Quincy's, of course. As Ichigo just looks at him like, are you now? <laughs> As he asks, are you sure about this? Ganju, the place we're heading to is much more dangerous than any battle we've been in before. As Ganju says, and that's why I'm going with you. And it's here, they all can't help but smile. As he says, all right then. And it's here, with everyone here now, we see Kisuke send them up to the royal palace. Not in style, but it'll do. As Mayuri even says, damn, that's one ugly liftoff right there. And it's here as we transition back to the palace. It's go time, guys. As we hear, it's been a while, you haba. Entering the royal palace uninvited. I can see defeating Genryusai has really gotten to your head. As we see both of their foot soldiers fight here, but the Soul King's blade is way stronger than run-of-the-mill Quincy's. But as they all try to attack Yuha, they notice they can't hit him no matter what. As we hear, you guys are very discourteous. My shrift is W. Every enemy I find bends and warps to avoid my body. As we meet Stern Ritter W, Nanauzel Weisel. As Senjumaru tells him, any enemy you find, huh? That means you can't bend enemies that can't be detected. As they try to do a sneak attack on him, but it fails miserably. As he says, sorry, what I meant to say was that I find my enemies through instinct. So, no matter where they attack from, they steer clear of my body. As we see, because of this, he's able to cut them in half without even actually cutting them. As he says, sorry, I'm told I have a bad habit of not explaining things very clearly. As Senjumaru tells him, don't worry about it. We all have our bad habits. As she adds, you know, an enemy is harder to see the closer they are. Especially if they're touching your body. Like that robe you're wearing. While you were busy frolicking with the holy soldiers, I tailored it with a fabric of my own. As we see that she completely binded his arms here. Effectively making his ability worthless. As all of a sudden he gets stabbed by countless needles. As she says, oh, we were talking about bad habits, weren't we? You know, forgetting to remove my sewing needle is a bad habit I can never break. As he is dead. And with that chump out the way, Senjumaru tells Yuha, Looks like our blades can finally reach you now. As Yuha says, Do you really think so? As we see this time, Yuha brings his own guards with him. As we meet Stern Ritter X, Lily Barrow. Stern Ritter C, Pernita, I'm not pronouncing that last name. We see that Stern Ritter D is with them, Askin Naklavar. And lastly, Stern Ritter M, Gerald Valkyrie. As we see Stern Ritter M instantly attack Senjumaru here. As she calls on the Soul King Shield here, and he's huge. But we see that with his ability, Stern Rider Z makes C makes quick work of him and actually compresses his body into a ball. As we hear, are you finally starting to think the royal palace might fall? 
As Stern Ritter X says, the royal palace fell the moment his majesty stepped foot here. As he shoots Senjumaru in the head, and we get our title card for this week. And it's here for a little extra bonus. C snaps her neck right here and actually crumples her body up too. As they say, well, that was easy. As Stern Ritter X blasts all the islands and takes them out at once. As he says, after you, your majesty. But Yuha sees through it all. Because it's here all of a sudden. Our curtain rises and we see we're not at the royal palace at all. As Senjumaru says, this is a false royal palace built to lure you in. The real one is being hidden by Osho. As we see, he reveals it with his ability right here. As Ichiba says, oh, you told them already? That must mean the cage made it in time. As we hear, yup, I got it ready just in time. As we see, they're all trapped inside this cage. And no matter how many shots X takes, it does nothing. As we hear, oh, don't worry, you pierced it. You see, manipulating food means manipulating life. I cook to shape lives, and the ingredients come from my own body. This tree bears fruit feeding on my spiritual pressure. Your bullets are composed of highly concentrated reishi, right? My tree of life can't pass up something that delicious. Even if they're pierced through, the tree grows at an even faster rate. Meaning that no matter how many times they shoot it or try to destroy it, the cage itself will absorb their energy and repair itself faster than they can destroy it. Oh, but we're not done yet, guys, because we get a hell of a pull up here. As we see Squad Zero First Officer, Holy Guardian of the East. The Hot Spring Demon, Tenjo Kirinji, is here too. Squad Zero's Fourth Officer, Holy Guardian of the North. Great Weaver, Senjumaru Shitari, is here too. Squad Zero's Second Officer, Holy Guardian of the South. The Grain King, Kiryu Hikifuni, is also here. And last, but certainly not least, the number one Zanpakuto creator. 10987654322, that's me, Oetsu Niamiya, is also here now. Our fight is only just beginning, literally. And as Stern Ritter M attacks Oetsu, he easily dodges it. As M tells him, nice dodge, and Oetsu says, simple manners to dodge a man's hug. <laughs> as he, with the greatest of ease, takes him out here. As he says, who do you think I am, yo? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, that's me, Oetsu, Niamiya, the baddest man in Squad Zero. I kind of just really love saying that if you guys haven't noticed already. <laughs> it's catchy. As he says, my sword kills with a single stroke. And it's here X says, you know, you use a strange technique, but it's a trick. I can tell just from looking at it. That sword's been soaking in that jelly-like substance. It's in such bad shape that the blade itself wobbles. There's no way it could kill Gerald. As if, as he fires at Oetsu, but it does nothing. And guys, Oetsu is so swaggy here. As he says, oh no, you hit me. Don't worry about it. Your perfect shot found its mark. But then it was split in two. All I did was just stand here. As he cuts the barrel off X's gun. And then cuts him up too. C tries to stop in here. Then get the sword straight through his head. As we even see Oetsu take out Sternrider D right here. For now. As Oetsu says, this Sayafushi is a failure. As he starts explaining that, you see, it's too sharp and its blade is too smooth. The edge never chips no matter how much I cut with it. Swords like this are going to put us swordsmiths out of work. And most importantly, 
I can't create a sheath that can hold it. And since it's not a complete sword, I couldn't send it down to the Serite. As he says, you know, I'm glad you guys stormed the royal palace. Thanks to you, I got a chance to put this to use. Really appreciate it, Yuha. And it's here, I love Box response here. He just throws something out of the cage and then teleports to it. Basically telling them, your cage doesn't mean shit to me. As Ichiba's like, ha, so you have the power to escape from the womb, huh? And it's here Jagram says, aren't you going to go after his majesty? As Tenjiro answers, I should be asking you guys the same question. As he says, up above us is Osho, you know. Even my hot springs can't wash away his bloody stench. And as we transition to the man in question, Yuha says, you will let me through, Ichiba Hiyosubi. As he just grins at Yuha and says, I've chastised you many times, and yet you still say my name lightly. Don't blame me. If you lose your voice. As we're about to get a hell of a showdown next week. Because on that note, our episode ends. Guys, next week's going to be crazy. Me, along with so many other people, have been waiting for this scene for so long. To see Bach versus Ichiba. It's going to be great. I remember that scene in the manga very vividly in this regard. And it's going to be really cool. I'm pretty sure next week for the finale, it's going to be an hour long, right? That's crazy. They really gave him an hour long episode. That's wild, guys. I can't wait for that. Just, man, Bleach. Bleach has been going kind of nutty these past couple weeks, guys. They've been doing a lot of cool stuff. And with the opening of the episode like this today, I have very high hopes that they might actually fix some of the bigger problems that's going to happen later in this arc. I'm very hopeful now. Fingers crossed still, but I'm very hopeful. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments of this video. What did you think of this episode? Do you recognize the differences that they added if you're a manga reader? If so, you can say it in the comments, but put a spoiler tag for other people. I'm fine with that. Just do that, please. But yeah, guys, Bleach is crazy. I can't wait till next week. It's going to be great. So until next time, guys, I hope you all have a great day, week, month, and year. And until then, deuces, have a blessed day, and I will see you guys next week for some craziness. Deuces.